Hello everyone, my name is Drew, and I'm back here again to talk to you a little bit about the Yovo OmniFlex nib. So, this is a new nib, it's made by Yovo, it's a flex nib, which means I get to flex it like crazy, right? No, no it doesn't, don't, don't do that please. So, sure, you can get some bounce, but that doesn't necessarily mean you should bounce, right? Kind of like, you know, bouncing rules on a trampoline, no, not really. Anyway, you can get some line variation, especially if you don't just do a bunch of downstrokes. Right, like it normally does. But look at that. Swoop, swoop, swoop. Some of them times they work, sometimes they don't. But you get a little bit of wide, a little bit of thin. But really, the difference between those two lines is what you should be looking for. You can go thin, or you can go a little thicker when it works. Come on now, wake up. There we go. Great. So that's about what you should be expecting right there. No more than that. But there are going to be times where you do want to go more than that. And if you do, you're going to end up with something that looks like, oops, sorry. You're going to end up with something that looks like this. So if you can see here, let's zoom in. There you go. You see how you can see straight through the tines there? That is not ideal. Let's try to focus in on that. There we go. See, you can see light through those tines. Not ideal. So this nib is not going to flow well. The ink is not going to travel through that gap, especially not when you even flex that gap further. With flex nibs, the tines need to start pretty much touching because you're going to put down some pressure and you're going to open up those tines. And that's just too much work for the ink. The ink's not going to be able to travel through that wide of a gap, especially when you've got a gap between the feed and the nib. See that? How my fingernail can go right in there? That is not good at all. That means you've pressed too hard. When you can see light between the feed and the nib, there, you look at this, just imagine you being the ink. How are you going to get up to the tipping material? You can't do it. Definitely can't do it, especially not if you flex it even more. Like, no way. This thing has been over flexed. And that's going to happen. It's okay. We're going to take care of you. Um, if anything, we're going to educate you on what not to do. So i um, happy to do that here today. So don't push too hard. But if you do, here's what to do. If you feel up to it anyway. The first thing you need to do is bend these things back together. See how, see how they're open right there? You're going to want to pick up your nib and not drop it. You're going to want to bring them back together. Now, to do that, let me see if I can get a white background here. Help out with that. Let's see. I'm just going to freeze on this. Hopefully focus in. All right. So to do that, let me center this a little bit. To do that, you're going to want to take your fingernails, if you can. Some of us have more than others. But I'm going to take it and move it. You're going to overlap it like that. Left over right, and you can flip it on the other side if you prefer, and right over left like that. You gotta press it with your with your nails, and you'll hear a click when you do it. That is okay. You want to hear that click? A little bit like that, and yeah, it, it chunks up your nails. But you can use your fingertips too if you want. I just find it easier to use my nails. A little bit left, over right, left, over right. And you just keep repeating that. And then when you do that, eh, definitely not good enough. You'll want to check it with your loop repeatedly over and over again. Um, and uh, if you want to, you can go a little bit farther. Just make sure you go back and forth. You don't want one being too far than the other. Because then you've got severely misaligned tines. I mean, either way, if you do something like this, you're going to need to realign your tines anyway because you're messing with the nib. You should always, always check your alignment because anytime you try to fix something, you usually end up missing, misaligning it. Okay, so as you can see, it's a little bit better. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to continue, but you do see a little bit more of a taper. It's not wide like it was. So the other thing I need to address is the gap between here and here. So no matter whether no matter whether or not your um tines are aligned properly, you're still asking the ink to go through that gap. You should not see that much light through there, if any at all. So now <laughs> the easiest thing to do here is I mean there are probably better ways to do that, but honestly what I do is I just press it to the paper and just give it a little bit of a bend. Like that, you know? And you're literally just bending it back. Because at while it's on the feed, you can only bend it 
Um, like it bent the opposite way when it was on the feed. So in my opinion, bending it back while it's on the feed is perfectly fine. Now, I would only recommend you do this if you're not in a position where you can get a new nib and you've pretty much you know, decided you're going to trash this thing anyway. So there we go. So you can see that's a pretty basic fix for these things. It's more or less back aligned. You can't see any more light and um, the nib itself is, you're not seeing a ton of light through uh, the uh, through the tipping material. So, and that's fine. You shouldn't, it shouldn't be completely closed off. On normal pens, you can have the tines touching. It's often recommended, but with, um, well, actually, I'm sorry. You can have them a little open, you know, having it just tapered is really what you're after. So as long as you have a nib that is tapered and it's wider at the base of the slit than it is the top, ink is usually going to get to where it needs to be. But with this, because it's a flex nib and it's already going to flex, I like to have these a little tighter than this overall. But I would just keep repeating this over and over again until it writes the way I want it to. Now, this will write just fine. In fact, with a more, you know, more of an opening here, it'll probably give me a more wet line. So this would be just dandy if I, uh, if that's what you're after. But it's a lot better, and it's uh, very possible you might have to do this a couple times depending on how aggressive you are with your new nibs. But either way, hope this helps. It's um, a pretty uh, pretty rough fix. Obviously, if you really want this done well, send it to a nibmeister. But uh, this is a good tip for if you have pretty much decided this is uh, destined for the trash pile. This might be a good way for you to resurrect your pen. Anyway, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. My name is Drew. If you have any questions, let us know. We're here to help. Have a great day.